And what surprised me, given that you had a record of giving evidence to other committees of this Parliament, and given that there's nothing terribly controversial in the evidence that you have given us this morning in response to the actual petition, was why you felt it was inappropriate to comment to the committee at that much earlier stage before this petition started to gain attention and momentum in the media and to meet but only privately with the convener and deputy convener as was of the committee and presumably to say to them what you've said to us today, um, all of which unfortunately gave wind to those who felt that there was something slightly paternalistic in the approach that was being suggested, which was one of, well, I'm not terribly interested in discussing this. Um, I have told you that I think it largely a bunch of nonsense. Um, please accept that to be so and um, carry on, if I can put it like that. So I'm interested, what was the reluctance and what do you feel could only be said in private that, that you feel able to say today? Well, I, I don't know if it was you, Mr. Carlo. I think it may have been who... I probably added a bit of colour. You, you so. said that, <laughs> that I looked down upon the hoi polloi and... Um, I freely admit to a bit uh -huh. of colour in order to compensate for the, for the, the magisterial yeah. response we had received, Lord yeah. Gill. Well, I think, I think your remark might have come as a surprise to people who know me. <laughs> but, um, you know, th this, this is all water under the bridge. We can't keep harping on about this forever. The main thing today is to, to discuss this petition, which is what I'm here to, to do. But anyway, um, you've asked the question, and I've got a jolly good answer for you, so here it comes. The point was that in two detailed letters, I set out my reasons why I was against this petition. I hope and I think that I set those reasons out with the greatest of clarity. I had no further reasons to add to that. And therefore, I was quite satisfied that I had placed before this committee all the help that I could give it. Now, I've appeared numerous occasions before uh, the Justice Committee in this very room. So it's not as though I have an aversion to appearing before committees. And I'm, I have to say, I'm very happy to be here today uh, and I'm enjoying this stimulating <laughs> conversation. But having given you all that I could do, there was nothing to be gained by my coming here. And I had also to consider the Office of Lord President, which I then held. And my judgment was that it was not a situation where under the Scotland Act it was necessary that I should come here uh, for examination before the committee. That was the view I took. I'm aware that you take a different view and I hope that in differing on that we won't fall out. Oh, I'm, I'm sure we won't. Uh, well, thank you for that. And, uh, uh, but, but obviously you then did meet privately with the convener and the deputy yes, convener to explore the very issues of the advice that you felt you had given us. And I only suggest that in so doing, um, it created beyond this committee an impression that there was a reluctance uh, to... Uh, bear witness to the advice that had been given no, or, that, to, or to allow us to explore with you the contrary advice that we had received, uh, which again this morning you've dismissed from the, um, the former uh, chair of the JCR. No, I think that is a highly over-dramatized view of what I did. It seemed to me that uh, since there was concern among the committee, it was perfectly reasonable for me to meet the then convener, uh, discuss what his concerns were. And what came out of that was really quite helpful because I was able to tell him things he didn't know. I told him, for example, that if he wanted to know what all my assets were, then he could go to the Scottish Courts website and get them, and he didn't know that. And I also told him that I was perfectly happy, if it would help, 
to institute a recording system uh, for recusals. And he said he thought that would be a good idea. And I, I, I went back to my office and my, my staff uh, duly implemented that. 